Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Peace. Although there's a Blood Moon again, and for some reason, it's on the final level. Which, I want to point out we got all of the chests and Koroks on, so we don't need to do it with the Blood Moon. But also, the recommended level is now 76, so it does raise the difficulty quite noticeably. Especially if you actually look at the m amount it's increasing by. But anyway... Forest Minuet. Hester and the Koroks are worried about the great Deku Tree, who seems to be in low spirits. Hester wants to brighten his day with music and dancing. Can you help him prepare? Hester uh, uh, sang and danced with the Koroks so happily that the great Deku Tree couldn't help uh, cheering up. So Hester showed you ha his happy dance. Shaki Shaka. We get three extra weapon slots. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be useful. Now, let's have a look at these stables because they have some stuff that I can buy. Since things keep changing around. There we go. Some warm Saflina. Just like that. Cool. Soldiers a light a light in the dark. Soldiers are hard at work building a hot spring underground beneath Hyrule Castle. However, it seems the low light conditions are slowing them down. Perhaps you can help illuminate things. The hot spring beneath Hyrule Castle became a beloved relaxation spot for soldiers weary from battle. The memory of all those happy, smiling faces fills your heart with warmth. Improved improved heart recovery. Also, since we go do the Blood Moon on this level, it doesn't actually have any indication that we've actually done that. But there is the difficulty stuff at the bottom. That doesn't... that doesn't even matter. But yeah, I wish it would actually show me what I've achieved on that if it's a Blood Moon. Because I don't, I don't want the Blood Moons. I don't want them to stay here. They may be cool to do... to challenge myself, but I don't want them. Strange and unusual monsters. One of the scientists of the, at the ancient tech lab is looking for a substance that's springy and bouncy, but at the same time explosive. You know, just the thing. Brother, Using the Choo Choo Jelly, the researcher achieved results beyond anyone's expectations. The world is full to bursting with strange phenomena, he said with a chuckle. Remote bombs. Recovery time is now shorter. Okay. Let's dance. You've been tasked with sh asking Koroks all over Hyrule if they know about parts for Terraco... Terracos? Terracos repair. Gather the fun-loving Koroks by throwing a hopping dance party. News of your dance party spread far and wide and lure lured Koroks from all over Hyrule. Based on the gossip, you glanced at the dance. Glean? Gleanced? Gleaned? You gleaned at the dance. You found parts that might revive Terrico. There we go. How are we going for Terrico parts? The one over here is what we need parts for, so we need 50 and we have 7. Okay. So there's a fair way to go with that still. Now, what do I want to look at? Possibly some of these. Eating a varied diet. Following Daruk's advice to bulk up by eating lots of different foods, Yonobo is looking to mix it up and try something that isn't rock roast. Is there anything that might satisfy his appetite? He knocks toenail. <laughs> I'm getting stronger all the time. Having eaten his f uh, fill of strange stones, Yonobo felt power surging through him. Like never before, he swore to put this strength towards protecting not just Goron City, but all of Hyrule. Your power of protection has been increased. I don't know what that means, but okay. A pure, a perfectly honored body? Sure, Daruk may be together a tougher than steel, but he wants to boost his endurance even more. That will mean stand. Sanding down his rough edges with the ma mightiest gems known to Goron. And also a Henox trophy. After scrubbing 
with some hardy gems to Rook's endurance uh, is now a, a second to none. Even if he had a face had to face a massive wave of monsters, the buffed Goron would surely come out on top. Taruk gets to summon magma bombs by pressing Y in his Y combo. Elden levels up for the last time. We get 50 amber for that. We also get this. The hope of Elden. Help those with problems in Elden re in the Elden Elden region to make the world a happier place. You get the Master Koga seal of approval. <sighs> I like that how that's the seal of approval with all of the places of the world, I guess. You helped everyone with problems in Elden and received some things useful in for combat. You have raised everyone's spirits and made the world somewhat brighter. Ruby Circlet. Okay, let's have a look at something else then. Looks like there's not a lot left in the color as well, so let's have a look at these. Visiting a special shop, a boy who heard that the Skull Lake rumors were true wants to shop at the Fang and Bone, but he's been unable to get monster parts to trade. Help the boy out, get him some. Yeah, let's encourage this idea. This is this is good. With monster parts in hand, the boy got to shop at the Fang and Bone. It seems he really just wanted the fun of going there. However, so he gave uh, you what he bought for free. We get the Lazalfo's mask for Link to wear, I guess. We also got some potion stuff. Mystery meal for the m for the merchant. You see the Skull Lake merchant in the middle of of battle. But he's too hungry to sell anything. Ah, uh, and has only spices and can't eat those. Bring him some main ingredients to cook with. Well done, with your help, the Skull Lake Merchant made Monster Stew. Though it's got a bizarre colour, he thinks it's seriously good creature cuisine. Give the stew a try sometime. He gave you the recipe. Get Monster Stew, which looks great. We also get a Lionel Mask. Fang for your buck. Now that the the Skull Lake Merchant... Now that you know the Skull Lake Merchant better, he's promised to start offering something new for you. Trade with him at your earliest convenience. The merchant made an excellent offer to you, his loyal patron. From now on, he'll trade you monster extract if you bring him the right materials. So basically this is like the leaf icons on the map. We can get monster extract as much as we need by just trading these materials. What are they? Cobblin trophies and monster parts, okay. Well anyway, we haven't got all of our colour yet. There's still a little bit more to do. But for some reason there's not not all of the um, not all of the quests have appeared yet. Anyway. The Pumpkin Hut Hunt. A cook is uh, grappling with a recipe for pumpkin stew. He wants a specific kind of pumpkin. That's proven elusive. If you find some for him, he'll leave a nice reward for you. The cook gave you a reward for giving him fortified pumpkins, his pumpkin stew recipe. It's a good recipe too. Pumpkins well and truly stewed. This will make a very good meal. C pumpkin stew. Recover health per enemy KO. That's interesting. Now, let's have a look at this. Searching Eventide Island. It's possible that Eventide Island, so far out in the sea, might have some parts remaining for repairing Terrico. A search party is going to head there, so prepare them for this difficult trip. Whoa. The search party had a difficult task combining uh, coming through Eventide Island. Given the island's uh, scarce resources, but with great uh, resolve, the party found many parts that might revive Terrico. There we go. 
Relieving our meat fatigue. You met a traveller who's bored with grilled meat. The meat she has is fine, but cooking it the same way again and again and again has led to meat monotony. Have some spices? After you gave her salt and spices, the traveller used them to add gourmet... gourmetizing. Wow! From meat monotony uh, to amazement, she gave her salt uh, grilled meat recipe to you and thanks. There we go. 12% damage. Now this one, this region is almost done, but is missing a quest as well, so... We're really gonna have to do... We really have to do some more stuff around the world. Trial of Chas Keta. Present proof of your triumph in a combat in your combat mastery. You have done well to overcome the trial. To mark your achievement, we bestow upon you the gift of might. Dodge during an attack to leave an exploding duplicate in your place. The clue to levels up. Getting some more eggs, which is good. Now, a strike to pierce stone. The mark of a true spear expertise is the ability to uh, the ability to take down a Molduga. Link must prove to the spear instructor that he has what it takes to beat this fearsome foe. Well, well, well. Defeating a Molduga is no easy feat. The spear instructor was so impressed by Link's accomplishment that he displayed proof of the, the victory at the training ground for all to see. Unleash a shockwave when performing a charging thrust. Cool. That's actually probably really good. A color seen in a dream. The dye merchant saw p the perfect color in a dream but needs to dream more deeply to see it more clearly. Why not bring him something that will do the trick? Some Henox trophies, of course. With your help, the dye merchant dreamed up the ideal color, and that's inspired him to create many new hues. There should be a new selection of colors in stock now. There we go. And now, how about we go do something? I think what I'm going to do to start off is probably the power of three. Pilot Divine Beast Varuta. Let's go. Others may find strength in our example. We may re may we restore peace to Hyrule. We kind of already did that, but anyway, we have a lot of health for this, which is good. Now let's just shoot a few other things over here, please. There's so many things just shooting me. Oh my goodness. Let's get a few more of this. Please. Wonderful, I'm glad to be doing my part. Some of these enemies are kind of annoying me right now. The timing is ideal. Let's unleash the you-know-what. That's a useful thing if it tells you that every time there's a good opportunity to unleash your full power. It's special. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's move on. Wait, can, I, can I hit that? Thank you. We need to defeat 5,000 enemies, by the way. I, for I forgot to look at that, so, um... Yeah, there's a fair bit to do. Let's try and use this, if I possibly can. Go ahead. That's pretty good. We've hit 1,000 enemies. But we're still not done yet. And there's still some strong enemies in my way. And it's annoying me, because I can't really kill them quickly. Which is probably for good reason. Let's use our special. Maybe take out as much as possible with that. Hopefully. 
please. Thank you. Okay, we have 1,500. That's a pretty good start, but we need to clear out a lot more than that. Luckily, there's a fair bit of enemies to shoot at throughout the entire map, apparently. Just looking at the map, there's a lot of points on it that we can go to. Let's do a whole bunch of that. Oh my goodness. 2,000. And it looks like the other path is a lot longer than this one. Which is probably good. Let's clear out all of that. And then some of that. Very nice. It's pretty good. Now we can go down the other path. Oh my goodness, why are you not gonna die? Okay, the intercept is actually fairly good and I didn't realize that. Let's just go over here. Oh my goodness. Can I just like walk through? Oh my goodness. Your attacks are pointless. I'm just this strong. Let me cut a few of that down. That's my sister. I strive to reach your heights one day, Mifa. How about we use our special? See how that goes. We're at 3,000 enemies, so we're probably fairly alright. Need more than that, though, so... Let's keep going and hopefully get to our goal. Okay. Just gonna go th straight through you, maybe. What happens if I do this? I kinda miss, okay. Just keep moving. I only need 1,500 more. That shouldn't take too long. Oh, Guardians and their allies have appeared. That's useful. Just gonna do that quickly. Just get all of you. I don't even have to do anything if I'm just holding up my intercept. Let me try doing a bit of this, which I can't seem to dodge for, so let's go quickly. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, I have my blast ready. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just cleaning up everything. Literally everything. Oh, that, one, God, that guy's fine there. That guy's fine. Let me shoot him a little bit more. Keep moving. Okay. Need a thousand more KOs. But it looks like there's still a fair bit left in front of us. In the, at the very beginning area, basically. Just ruin all that. Let's keep going. Probably want to go a little bit faster to get over to the area over here. We haven't got much time, but we've got quite a lot of enemies over here to take care of. You know, for a short amount of time. Let's just destroy this. Let's head in. And we can probably actually just use our special now to finish up. Just do that a whole bunch, and then all of that a whole bunch. And then maybe take out the Guardians, please. Please, thank you. And that's almost done. There's still more in front of us, apparently. I don't know how I missed that many. But anyway, let's just walk in. I'm sure they won't mind. Oh no, I took a heart of damage. What a shame. What a real shame. There we go. Just glad I made it through in one piece. It wasn't that bad. Get a lot of rupees from that. 
And that is it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda, no, Hyrule Warriors Age of Peace. Even the blue, the pillars around Hyrule Castle are blue now. Amazing. <laughs>